Okay, so in the last tutorial we looked at uh, using Metasploit to uh, show up a vulnerability in Android. So what we'll do in this one is we'll use Metasploit to be able to create a remote shell into both Mac OS and also into, into Windows. Okay, so let's have a look at the, the commands that we'll actually be using. Okay, so we'll just look at our IP addresses. So we're on 24 here. We're on 12 here. And the Windows machine is behind NAT. And 172.16. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll create a, a Metasploit about exploit to get a remote shell into each of the machines here. Okay, so the first thing we do is to create the payload. So let's go ahead and create the payload that we're going to use in our Mac. I'll just paste that, so that's going to create a, 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 no, a Mac OX OS X executable called that. And while we're doing that, let's go ahead and let's actually create our Windows version of this. So just modify it there. So that should be Windows. And we'll create it on 4445 and we'll call it wind.exe. Okay, so while that's cooking, let's have a look at this other one. So that's what, so that's fine. So what we then do is to be able to uh, to move this file onto the Mac OS X and uh, so we should have it there so it's there and then we would change the mode to make it executable okay so then what we'll do now is we'll just open up our Metasploit console Okay, so our Windows one has just been created. Okay, we're just going to do the same as we did before. We'll set up our handler, then we'll set up our payload to find the host that we're connecting uh, to, and also the port that we're going to connect. So it looks like our Windows one is ready. Okay, that's going to connect in 445. And let's go ahead and open up the, co the display console here, and hopefully we'll have two shells running. Uh, this one will connect into the Mac OS, and then this one into our Windows instance. Okay, so it just takes a little minute to start up. So we'll start up the Metasploit. Uh, just waiting for the connect the dial back the connection back in uh, to the system so the dial back works better because if if a machine is behind that then it's easier to do a dial back than it is to do a dial in so we're just waiting for the console to start up and once it does then we'll just go ahead and enter our commands get ready so there we are okay 
so let's put that command in. Okay, so we'll set our payload. Set our host. Set the port. Okay, so we'll go and run this from here. Oh, good, we have a connection. Okay, so I'll just leave that one running. And what we'll do is we'll just do the same again over here. Just so I can show you the two remote connections working at the same time. And that's the correct payload. So just let that one wait. So that one's waiting for a connection from the Windows machine. So what we'll do is that we'll just uh, run that. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. So we now have two remote connections and dial back. So this one here is our Windows one. This one here is our Mac one. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll... Uh, System 32. Um, we can do all the usual Windows types of things. And then over here, hopefully, we have our Mac shell. Okay, so there's the uh, Uh, we can do all the normal types of things. And so, okay, so this this shows uh, how we can create a remote shell between between Metasploit and Windows and Mac OS.